Hey, this is Professor Perez. In this short video, we are going to work on three separate problems. These problems do require the use of a calculator. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how having a calculator is not going to get you the right answer unless you know how to follow order of operations. So what I recommend you do is that when a problem comes up, write it down and try working it out on your own. Then come back and hit play and I'll walk you step by step to the problems. Charlie's not going to be here because he's supposed to be at home working on those problems. He better be. Anyway, let's get started right there. 2.56 subtract 2.48 488 divided by 0 0.698 plus 3. There you go. The first thing you should do is perform the division. When you perform that division, you should get 3.56 and then bring down your work. Now we have subtraction and addition. Remember, order of operations says when you have subtractions and additions, you must work left to right, whichever comes first. The subtraction came first here, so 2.56, subtract 3.56 is negative 1, plus 3, and that answer is 2. Hopefully you did not need a calculator for that last step. Let's go to this next problem. Here we have 1 3rd squared times 21.6 plus 3 7 squared times 132.3. In this problem, the first thing you need to do is evaluate those exponents. One-third squared means one-third times one-third, which is one-ninth. Let's bring down our work. Three-sevenths squared means three-sevenths times three-sevenths, which is nine-forty-ninths. And bring down the 132.3. Now, we have to perform the multiplication before we perform the addition. Now, if you write 21.6 as a fraction, meaning putting it over one, and you multiply 1 9th times 21.6 over 1, you get 21.6 divided by 9. And then don't forget we have to add. Similarly, if we write 132.3 as a fraction by putting it over 1 and then multiplying by 9 49ths, we get 9 times 132.3 divided by 49. Now you want to perform these calculations separately with your calculator. Remember the last step we have to do is add. So 21.6 divided by 9 should give you 2.4, and 9 times 132.3 divided by 49 should have given you 24.3, and when you add 2 and 4 tenths with 24 and 3 tenths, you should have got 26 and 7 tenths for your final answer. Let's try this last problem. 2 thirds subtract 3.2 quantity squared divided by 0 0.25 squared plus 3.2. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change our decimals to fractions. We have the 3 and 2 tenths, so let's write that as a mixed number, and the 25 hundredths, 0 0.25, we'll write that as a fraction, as 25 hundredths, and we'll leave the 3.2 alone at the end, because we have to perform the exponents first, the parentheses, and the division before we do that addition at the end. So here we have parentheses in the beginning. We have 2 thirds subtract 3 and 2 tenths. We're going to take care of that. First of all, we're going to change that mixed number into an improper fraction. Remember, 10 times 3 is 30, 30 plus 2 is 32, so we have 32 tenths. Now 25 hundredths reduces to 1 fourth, so we'll reduce and we'll bring down our work. Now we need an LCD for those two fractions in the parentheses. The LCD for a 3 and a 10 is 30. So we need to multiply 2 thirds by 10 over 10 and the 32 tenths by 3 over 3. And that should give you 20 thirtieths subtract 96 thirtieths in the parentheses. Now we're going to divide, but let's go ahead and evaluate that exponent 1 fourth. 1 fourth squared is 1 fourth times 1 fourth, which is 1 sixteenth, and we'll bring down our work. Now, 20 thirtieths subtract 96 thirtieths is 76 thirtieths, but it's negative. And don't forget, that's in the parentheses, it still needs to be squared. Now, we're dividing by 1 sixteenth. Now, remember, when you're dividing with a fraction, you multiply by its reciprocal. And the reciprocal of 1 over 16 is 16 over 1, so it's 16. That's why we're multiplying by 16 we bring down our work. Now the 76 over 30 reduces to 38 over 15. And don't forget it's negative. We brought down our work and now negative 38 
15 squared means negative 38 over 15 times negative 38 over 15. Negative times negative is positive, right? So when you perform that calculation, you should get 1,444 over 225. And let's bring down our work. Remember, it's being multiplied by 16. Now, we have to perform that multiplication and the division before we do the addition. So, what you have here is 1,444 times 16 divided by 225. And then when you get that result, you're going to add 3.2. And we will round off our final answer to the nearest one thousandths. And so your final answer should have been 105.884. Hope you got the correct answers. See you again soon.